Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. They're banging their heads up against the wall because they have to see you prosper and not stay stuck. As odd as it may seem, there are people who don't want to see you succeed financially. They would rather watch you stay stuck, stay in poverty, stay poor, stay down, stay without. That's one of the most evilest things that you could wish for someone is to not be able to take care of themselves, not be able to pay for things, not be able to take care of their family, not be able to provide. That, that's an evil thing to, to want to happen to someone in, in their life. But for all the people that actually wish that on you, they're in for a big surprise. All the people who didn't want to see your finances turn around. All the people who didn't want to see you succeed monetarily. Get your finances up. Get your monies up. Get your, get your bank account filled with a stank amount. All the people that didn't want to see you prosper are in for a rude awakening because prosperity is about to be your middle name after this after this video prosperity will be your middle name anyone that doesn't want to see someone else prosper they're actually playing with their own universal coins their own universal divine inheritance, their own flow of money that we all have. Everybody has a flow that involves themselves, their energy, and money. Everybody has a universal monetary flow. And however you feel about the amount of money that you deserve, that's the money that's going to come to you. And not only do you feel that you deserve it, but you believe and see it coming to you because you decided the exact amount that you want, that you need. When it comes down to God, when it comes down to the universe, when it comes down to financial angels, they want you to be exact. They want you to... Say the exact amount, use the exact amount when you're communicating to them what it is you need them to do for you, how much money you need them to bring to you. They want you to be exact. You have to be definite with the infinite. You have to have the definite amount down to the zero. Know what you're going to use it for. Know how the type of impact it's going to have on your life. But I wanted to let you know, since you've already done that, if you've been watching my videos, you're in for a big surprise. And so are the people who wanted to muddy, muddle up your finances, muddy up your finances. People who wanted to wish poverty on you. People trying to hit you with the poverty spell. They're going to be banging their head against the wall. Kung, 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 kung. It pains people to actually see you win. You are so good of a person. Your spirit is so pure. Your, your, your heart is so light and your mind is so righteous. Because you choose to put God first in your life. You choose to connect yourself with the most high. So that way you can be centered, grounded, and at peace. 
there are people who actually don't want to see you succeed for that. All because they got a serpent mind. They got a serpent spirit. They got a soul straight from the serpent. Because they rather watch somebody else stay in a struggle. That is the one of the worst things you could possibly do. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. You want to watch somebody struggle and not succeed. That person is truly crooked. That person is truly evil. You should want to see people do good. You should want to see people succeed. As long as they're staying out the way, as long as they're not bothering you, as long as they're not bringing any evil, any negativity into your life, as long as they're not bothering anyone, causing anyone any harm, that what's the matter if someone doesn't like you or if they say something or whatever, as long as it's not anything too bad, there's nothing wrong with a difference of opinion, you should welcome Differences of opinion. We don't all have to agree on everything. We don't all have to view things the same when it comes to everything, when it comes to certain things. But they are in an uproar over your financial success. They wanted you to stay poor forever. They wanted you to stay broke forever. There are those of us out there who people just don't want to see you get anywhere. And that's that is and we don't want to make that an excuse or use that as as an excuse because we're not because that won't get you anywhere either. Making excuses, pointing the finger, blaming other people. But I mean, it's crazy for people to want something for themselves, think they're really going to enjoy it, get it, have a long lasting amount of it, or it be long lasting for themselves and not want to see others get the same thing. Everything I want for myself, I want that and then some for for everyone else. I don't mind seeing somebody else do good. It doesn't take any food off my table for somebody else to eat. It doesn't take the shoes off off my feet for somebody else to have a brand new pair. It doesn't doesn't take the clothes off my back for somebody else to have a nice new nice new outfit. But what that all what that all comes down to is the is a person having a mindset filled with lack. They got a mindset that's filled with lack and they feel that somebody else's success is robbing them of theirs, especially when the person already looks good. The person's handsome, person's uh, uh, beautiful. If you're a lady, all right, you look good, you feel good, your spirit is right, you're confident in yourself, self-esteem is high. When they see someone that they're jealous of get even further ahead it's going to drive them insane they already feel that you have enough i said it before and i'll say it again they already feel that you have enough and they're starting to feel that you have too much don't you go succeed don't you go get ahead don't you go get your money right Because they will have an issue. They won't want to see it. And that's how you know people have it out for you. My money has nothing. Your your money has nothing to do with them. Your success has nothing to do with them. You being able to pay your bills is not stopping them from being able to pay theirs. So if you really have to like analyze this kind of situation and just think about it for a second because the only thing that could be left is the person is just extremely jealous 
and them seeing you do good and them seeing you do well poses a, poses a, a big threat. It it it, it, it make makes them makes them uh, uh pop a blood vessel just to see you be able to to take care of things. And it, it you it it really lets you know. It really lets you know just what this person thinks of you and and what they what they feel about you, because it's like if you, if you don't want to see me have the same things as you or at least the same if you don't want to see me do better than you or at least have the same things as you or be able to do for myself. That says a lot about that person's character. It says a lot about who that person is. And we're still not going to use that as an excuse or allow that to stop us. There are people who make things difficult and there are people who don't want to see you succeed financially. But they're about to be banging their head against the wall because they're going to have to see it. They're going to have to see you shine. They're going to have to see you become successful. Everything that they said to try to stop it and block it is going to fail. They're monitoring of your spirit, monitoring of your success, monitoring of your destiny, all the curses they put upon you. Wasted effort. They're going to be banging their head, dun, 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 banging their head against the wall because they wanted you to stay stuck and they have to see you prosper. We're not talking about succeed and with, with some nine to five job. And I, I hope if you have a job or you're working, I hope you are successful at your job. And I hope you, I, I wish you much success, but I'm talking about, they're going to have to see you succeed. Like they're going to have to see you live it up. They're going to have to see you t go from small to big, little time to big time. And the thing is, you're not even going to care about it. You're not even going to care about it as much as they care about it. You, you're going to embrace it. It's going to be natural to you. It's going to be something that you know that you deserve. Something that you know you have a right to. But they're losing their mind over it. They want it to be them. They want to have the life where they can live it up, be successful have everything they want. That's what they see for themselves. They're not working towards it though. But that's what makes people upset. They're not working towards it. But they will hate on the person who will. If they're not working towards it, they're not going to want you to work towards it. They're not trying to get their life up to par. They're not going to want to see you get your life up to par. All you're doing is deciding a, a, a route to take with your life and making a choice to go after it. That's all. Anyone can do that. I decide to go to the mailbox. I'm going to get up, go walk to the mailbox, get the mail, and come back inside. That's That same thought process for something as small as that is the same thing with everything in life. I'm going to go get me this in life and I'm going to do what's necessary of me to get it so I can have it plain and simple plain and simple and people really do waste their time hating on others and it stops them from you know it it, it stops them from getting to where they need to go because they're putting so much time into trying to sabotage someone else they're putting so much time and and, and energy into focusing on somebody else and all that they're doing. I mean, that that is a terrible thing to do with the time that you have here on this earth. Use it to monitor someone's spirit. Use it to focus on someone other than yourself. And for what? For just you know, for, for pure vanity. For pure vanity. You have more than me. I'm mad at you. Even if they have more than you, they'll, they can still be mad at you because you have more than them internally. And that's why when you get things, it pisses them off.
because you have it inwardly. And not only do you have it on the inside, but when you get it on the outside, it's going to drive these people freaking nuts. They're going to bang their head against the wall because you had not only do you have it on the outside, but you have it where everybody wants it on the inside. You get to feel good in on the inside, regardless of the amount of money that you have. That's just the icing on the cake. It's like, you already feel good in life and then somebody's like, hey, you want to feel more better? You're like, yeah, sure. You already feel good. There are people doing things and only getting to feel as good as you already do naturally and normally. And that pisses people off. It makes them upset. It turns them into major haters. They want to try to break your spirit down to where you don't feel good anymore. They don't like the person that feels good. But you're going to you're going to watch your mood. You're going to watch your attitude. You're going to be the best that you could be regardless of what they want. You're not even going to focus or think about what they want because it's not important. And you can you can make their agenda totally irrelevant. Just by focusing on what you want. They could be they could be doing the most, but if you're focused on what you want, it's not going to have any effect on you. Because it's not directly anyway. You're going to be able to ignore it and not let it bother you and stay in your happy place. All because you're focused on the right things, which is what you want. You're focused on the wrong things, the wrong things. You're focused on the wrong things, the wrong things. Kanye West said it. He said, you're focused on the wrong things. It's time to get focused on the right things so that way we can play this game and beat these fools. And have them banging their head against the wall. Prosperity is yours. And they see they see your future. They see your success with your finances turning around. They see you being successful with loads of money and they, they see your future. They see you having a prosperous future. They see you having a, a financially successful life and they can't take it because you're the one who was supposed to be broke. You were the one who was supposed to stay broke, to stay poor. You were the one who wasn't supposed to have any good things happening to them at all because you already had enough. You were the one who already had enough. You were the one who already had too much good already coming into their life as it is. And for them to see you have any more good happening to you is killing them. It's destroying them to see you have any more good than you already had coming into your life. It's like somebody getting a birthday cake and then being brought out an extra birthday cake. It's like, yo, this person already has enough. Why is this person getting more? Why is this person being blessed with more? It's because you are abundant. You have a prosperity mindset. You have accepted all the wealth that your mind can conceive for yourself. You have accepted all the good things that your mind can conceive for itself. You recognize yourself as a child of God. You don't see yourself as anything less. They tried to get you to join them and view yourself as something less and you didn't. And that's why they don't want to see you prosper. They actually want you to lower your good feelings and your vibes to, to please them. You feel good and you feel better than them. And they want you to downgrade your downgrade your life, your, your feel good energy just to please them because they feel like crap. And even when you do downgrade how you feel, it, it, a, a lot of negative things are going to happen. You won't get blessed. You won't feel good. You'll start to feel worse. All the blessings that were on their way to you will stop because you need to have a happy, loving feeling for them to come into your life, for you to welcome them into, into your reality in the first place. I mean, you could do it also while you're mad, but still your focus has to be on yourself. You, 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 you still, even if you, you like, you could, you could do the, do the mad manifest, but your, your focus still has to be on what you're manifesting. You just have to be mad and angry enough that you don't have it or that it hasn't happened yet. So it's, 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 it's I mean, it might be two opposite ends of the spectrum, but still pretty much the same thing. 
your focus has to have whatever emotion your focus has or whatever mood your focus has to be on what it is you want even if the person is mad they're just mad enough that they don't have it but these people are mad you want to talk about mad these people are mad they're banging their head up against the wall because you are about to win financially financial gain is coming to your life now financial wealth success prosperity all these things are coming into your reality now. If you didn't know, now you know I'm speaking it on you. All you have to do is get it in your mind. That's why I'm always talking about it in my videos. All right, you, you are getting your mind engineered for success by watching videos like this. All it does is take a, the little bit amount of time. You watch this video from beginning to end. And your mind is going to be renewed. It's going to be refreshed. Whenever you feel laggy, whenever you feel slothful, whenever you feel stagnant, empty out your mind, cleanse your energy. And, 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 and these people are upset because you feel good and they don't. That's a damn shame. You like all you do is you don't stab people in the back. You don't talk about people behind their back. You do good things. You, you're a good person. You make sure you're the best person you could be to the people around you. You feel good. They want to they want to live. They really want to try to to dim your lamp. But the Lord, the, the Lord, the Lord has anointed your head with oil. Your cup runs over. And that's why you feel good, because energetically, there's a thing I've already talked about it before. Like when you're you, like when the person is in the energy field and you see the two things coming out of it like that and it's next to an apple, that's that's the uh, biblical representation of a person's cup running up, running over. Because all that energy is coming out of your third eye and it's, it's being brought back down into you through your root chakra. And I know people don't like chakras and stuff like that, but the way I view it is it's a part of your body. It's, it's like you could, it could be used for good or it could be used for evil, but whether you want to recognize it or not, it's there, it's real, and you have it. How else can you determine your ups and downs between your your energy and things like that? Or, oh, it's just ups and downs. It's just ups and downs. But if, it's, if, it's, if I'm down, how come I can get back up? It's through the process of the renewing of the mind. And when you renew your mind, you renew your cells, you renew your energy, your uh, chakras, all those things are changed. It's just that a lot of this stuff in the Bible, when you talk about chakras and energy, this is the stuff where it sounds like a story, where it's like the bird uh, did this or the animal went up or the this is like all the stuff where it's like, yo, what does that mean? I know it has a deeper meaning. It's, it's referring to something happening to you and within you. All right. And there are some haters that don't like seeing the joy take place, the joy of the Lord in you take place. And that's why you're so happy, because the joy of the Lord dwells within you. And these the demonic spirits out here don't like it. They hate to see a happy person. They hate to see a joyful person, especially your joy is not coming from carnal things. Your joy comes from God. Your joy comes from the Lord. It's not coming from uh, this amount of money or a brand new this or a brand new that or that this the, the or the other. You don't mind having those things and you know it's nothing wrong with having things. You know it's nothing wrong with becoming successful. But that's not the end all be all to happiness. Those things don't make a person happy. A person already has to be happy. Money only makes you more of what you already are. Look at some of the people in the entertainment industry. Look at some of the people who are rich and, and quote unquote successful. You determine what success is for you and you have. And you've done a great job at doing so. You've done a wonderful, amazing job at determining what success is for you. And it's got these people banging their head up against the wall. It's got these people so mad that they're upset and angry because you're becoming successful. Make that make sense. I understand people get mad because someone is successful, but the reason why it, they're upset at you doing it is because you already are deemed successful to them. 
even within, I'm trying to get you guys to understand this, even in the midst of all the trouble, even though you may ride a bike and they drive a car, you may walk, you may catch the bus, you may live in an apartment, you may live in a motel, you may live in your car, you may not have a house, you may not have all the things that they have. You have more in you than they have in them. I'm, I'm not wishing them to not have any success. I, I wish you much success, but you have to realize that you have something within you that, that's extremely great and you need to bring it out and you need to recognize the wealth within yourself, the, the, the riches within yourself. So that way you can have riches in your actual everyday life that you're more than deserving of and more than worthy of having. And that's why they're banging their head against the wall because you're starting to recognize your riches through Christ. You're starting to confess your riches through Christ. Confess all your needs through Christ. All your need, confess all your needs and all your wealth and all your success through Christ. Everything that you need will be granted. Everything that you need will be given to you. All the things that you need, you will have. When you see better for yourself and you see God being able to do for you, it's going to slowly but surely kick in and start to to, to uh, manifest in your life. You're just going to see yourself being able to be taken care of in, in, in ways that are past your finding out. Things are going to happen for you. Doors are going to open for you. You're going to meet all the right people for all the right reasons. And that's not something that I'm just saying that this stuff is real. You, you, can, you can awaken something within yourself, the power and presence of God. It will guide you. It will solve your, your problems. It will correct your finances. It will put you in order with the divine order. All right, God has an order. God has a divine order. All right, and you want to be a part of it. All you have to do is just several times throughout the day, the, the divine order is in order. The divine order is in order. The divine order is in order. God has an order. And when you uh, when you adjust yourself to the order of God, your life is going to be in order. And when you tell yourself that uh, I am in order with the divine order, things will start to click for you. Things will start to align for you. Things will start to improve for you. Things will start to get better for you financially. More money will start flowing into your bank account. All just by getting your mind in check, all just by getting your your words in alignment and your thoughts in alignment with the life that you desire, with the life that you want. You can't speak death over your life and expect life. You can't joke around and say and, and speak about poverty and money and all these things and expect money to flow to you and wealth to flow to you and success to flow to you, but crack jokes on it like you can't actually get it. Money is just like a person. If you were to make fun of a person, money is an empath too. Just letting you know, money is extremely sensitive. Um, if you were to talk to an empath and if you were to play games and joke and make fun of someone continuously like you didn't want them to be in your life, they probably wouldn't hang around long. And with money, it's the same way psychologically. When you joke around about it and say that's only for this person or are broke or poverty or, oh, I don't have this or I don't have that, you're sending signals out and your mind is being put in a in a box to where money can't flow to it. You're putting yourself in, on, on a frequency to where money is non-existent by certain things that you say and certain ways that you speak. And now that's why they're going to be banging their head against the wall because you figured it out. You know how the game is played. You know how to play the game. You know how to speak by now. You know how what to cancel out by now. You know to, what to ignore, what to turn off, what not to watch, what not to take into your spirit because you don't want the, the broke heebie-jeebies. You don't want that broke spirit trying to attach itself to you. You want to attach yourself to wealth. You want to attach yourself to money. You want to have a money idea, a success idea, and you even want to have a successful attitude. You even want to have an attitude for success. You, you even want to have a rich attitude. See those people who have money in them? You think they're stuck up? That's their rich attitude. 
you can't blame them for for enjoying the feel of what it's like to have money. Should is that a righteous cause for them to be rude or ignorant? No. But people are entitled to how they want to feel. And you have to really think about it. How would you feel if you had that amount of money? Because if you can picture that feeling and create that feeling with the amount of money that you actually want, it will work its way to you and you'll be able to have it. And people will be banging their head against the wall because you're not going to be stuck and you're going to be prosperous and money will flow to you because money is flowing to you right here and right now. Infinite money is flowing into your reality. Infinite money is flowing into your wallet. Infinite money is flowing into your bank account. Infinite success is flowing to you right now at this very moment. Accept it for yourself. Decide it, see it, and believe it. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the share button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. We out.